Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is No Code School and today we're going to be going over WhatsApp business, its various features and what you can do to leverage those features to benefit your business. So let's get right into it. Now before we jump into the video, we wanted to bring to your attention a large number of our viewers are not actually subscribed to the channel. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more, please consider subscribing as it helps us out a lot. So here we are on the WhatsApp business app and the first feature we're going to talk about is catalog. Catalog is basically a collection of your businesses, products and services and you need a catalog for your business if you want to run ads. So if you come up here to the top right three dots and click on business tools, here you can see catalog. Now this here is a catalog. We have one item already set up in our catalog called no code course. And you can add a new item wherein you can put the item name, you can add a price and you can add a description and images. And this is what it will look like. And you can advertise with this product or even share a link. Our next feature of WhatsApp business is advertising on Facebook and Instagram. If you come up here to the top right and click the advertise button, here you can see you can create your first ad. You can use a given content here or you can choose other content. And I'm going to go with our business here. You can also add photos from a gallery and take a new photo. And I'm going to click next. So here we have our ad. We start off by designing it. We can add a description. Let's say no code tools education and save. And here is our ad preview and we go next. And here it gives you your estimated reach and the budget and duration of your ad. And you can edit these to change it up based on your requirements. Then you click next. And here is your ad review. So you can review all the details about the ad and send it out. Our next WhatsApp business feature is labels. If you come up here to the top right and go into labels, here are various categories or labels that you can use to organize your customers and chats. So the way you label a chat is by long pressing on that chat and clicking on this label button. And here you can assign any one of these labels to this chat. So let's say new customer and save. You can also create new custom labels for your chats, such as need to contact and click OK. And now you can save that label. As you can see here, you're also allowed multiple labels on the same chat. Our next WhatsApp business feature is greeting and away message. If you come up here to the top right and go to business tools, here you can see greeting message which welcomes new customers automatically. So we go in here and we can switch on send greeting message and you can edit the greeting message to say whatever you want and you can also edit the recipients to specify who receives your greeting message and then click save. Similarly, you have your away message which automatically replies to people when you are away. So we can switch this on here and edit our away message and you can also edit the schedule of your away message. Always send custom schedule or outside of business hours and your recipients as well and save this. A good way to use greeting and away message is by going into what's form. Here we have a contact template form. If you go into share and choose WhatsApp, we can see that we have messages already set up to add to greeting message and away message. So let's copy one of these and go back into our greeting message and we can edit that and paste and click OK and save. And similarly, we can copy the away message and go into away and edit that, select all and paste. And obviously you need to edit these to reflect your business name. Okay, and save. So that is a very cool way to use what's form in your greeting and away message. So all of your customers have access to your contact form and you can get their details directly in WhatsApp. Our next feature is the short link. If you go to the top right here and go to business tools and go to the top right again and go short link. Here we have a link that you can share to your customers so that they can start a WhatsApp chat with you. You can share the link or view a QR code. And here you can see you can let customers edit and send a message on opening your short link and you can edit that message. So there we have the short link. Our next WhatsApp business feature is quick replies. So if you go up here on the top right and go into business tools and go into quick replies over here. Quick replies is basically a way for you to avoid typing the same message over and over again and for you to save that message into a shorthand. So suppose you want to create a quick reply for the phrase, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. We click the plus icon over here and say the shortcut shall be ASAP. And the message is, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And we click save. And now what we can do is when we have an incoming message from a customer, we can just go in here and instead of typing out that same reply each and every time, we can just type slash and choose our required quick reply from our options here. 
and send it out. So there you go, that saves you a lot of time in typing and you can set up quick replies for all types of messages. Our next WhatsApp business feature is statistics. If you go up here to the top right again and into business tools and go up to the top right again and go into statistics, here you can see details of the total number of messages sent, delivered, read and received. As your business grows, this can be a very important metric to measure success and for you to showcase your business to potential investors or customers. Our next feature is redirecting your customers to your website or Instagram. If you go up here to the top right and go into business tools and business profile, here we have the various details of our business. You can add in all this information and it really helps your customers to be more well informed about your business. But the main thing here is you can come in and edit in your website. So suppose you have a website for your business, you can add that link right here and you can also come down here and add your Facebook or Instagram to your WhatsApp business and this makes it easy for people to get in touch with you. So those are the various features of WhatsApp business and how you can use them to help make your business more effective and efficient. So thanks for watching this video. We hope you learned something here today. If you liked it and you want to see more, please consider subscribing as it helps us out a lot. If you have any other no code tools that you would like us to cover in the future, please leave them down in the comments below. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.